already passed 15,000 subscribers. Well, this needs to be a special video. I think my computer is on drugs. Okay, so today's video is gonna be about the Radeon software that is the mining edition for our GPUs. So Radeon released another driver that increases our performance in blockchain compute workloads. So that's just really nice that they've done this because we're gonna buy less cars because we can just pump up our mining rigs or even we, we can buy even more cars now. They're, they're gonna perform even better Except the Vega is gonna be. Bl I'm sorry for that, bros. But of course, we're just talking about the AMD Radeon blockchain compute unit driver. So it is actually the AMD mining driver. And it just came out when it was going on holiday. So I was like, it's so important, and I'm on a holiday right now. This just is absolutely crazy. But of course, we are here right now. So I'm gonna show you what it has done to my mining rigs. Okay, so this is the first one. It's the Sapphire Mining Rig. It was doing about 20, 150 megashes per second and it was using about 840 watts. But now, after the update, it's doing about 164 megashes per second to about 170. But the clocks can get really unstable, so I'm really happy with the 14 extra megashes on this one. But the next one over here is the Asus one. Um, for some reason the screen is like totally dead. I could give it a try and get it working. But this one is using only 750 watts. And it was also doing 150. And right now it's doing 161 megashes per second. Next up we have the MSI RX 570 one. I had so many troubles installing the drivers the day before the update that I was really totally pissed off to do the new minor upgrade, let's say, the minor driving update. And yeah, currently it's still doing about 25 megashes per second for every card while it's BIOS modded and it uses about 800 watts of power. So we're going to try and apply it the update to this one and see the difference because it's only doing 147 megashes per second to about 140 megashes per second so this is really one of the slowest ones around so yeah that's that's pretty good that these mining upgrade drivers are doing their job so I got the screen working and as you can see it's doing 162 megashes per second and therefore it was only doing 100 40 or something so it was a really bad miner I was like I'm not really happy with this one so this one is doing pretty well to be honest it's only doing 162 megashes per second but it's only using 750 watts of power so that's pretty nice compared to the MSI one it is using about 830 watts of power while it's only doing 140 megahashes per second so that's just absolutely crazy so I'm really glad these miners are doing their job I'm really telling the truth. And these screens are pretty awesome, right? Just having a small miner connected to your uh, screen miner, you say? It's really nice. I'm gonna hook this up to the mining rig in the future and I'm gonna sell this to you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video right here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this video up into two parts. First of all, this one is just giving you the tips that you can install the new AMD mining drivers onto your mining rigs. But tomorrow's video or the next day's video is going to be about how to install these mining drivers onto your system and get your mining rig running at about 10 to 20 percent more efficiency and performance. So that's why I'm going to end the video over here and hopefully you all enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.